Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutler. Now, I'm going to tell you something, son. I am fired up, and I am excited about my D-Bad Preacher being here. And most of this week, we're going to do the D-Bad Preacher. I'm going to put out a review to end all reviews, son. Probably the greatest review in the history of reviewdom. You know what I'm saying? Got to give all my haters something to hate about. Some hater aid. Kiss my ass. All right. But before we get to the D-Bad, I'm going to go ahead and continue on my little work tough, my little family and knives, my work tough deal. Let me get some dimensions here for you. What I have here is the Mini Tayal, T-A-Y-A-L, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. And look and see, look here. Just seeing if you could find some concern on my face. Now, what I have discovered on these tails by Work Tough, look at that. We got an upswept blade. I think I made that word up. I don't know. Look at the edge on that, son. Look at that. Now, I'm having a drive today. JC wanted to run out and ride with Rich, his buddy. But we're going to go out there so we can get started. Shut up. He's trying to say, like, I'm going to dick around and not be there. <sighs> I love that boy to death, but Lord have mercy. Shades and mustache looks like look like a, a, a six month old poodle sitting over there. Anyway, I digress. Now, I headed out here to the job site, so I just share with you on this tail and stuff like that. And I've been all over the place already this morning. Now, this tail, I, that's the last time I'm gonna say it. The mini tail, I lied. I said it one more time. It's a four inch blade. Got an up swoop. That's a heck of an edge on that thing, man. That's a good scab. Cut yourself. It's a four inch blade with a five inch handle. Look at that. Now, I've told y'all before, I'm built rather stupidly. So, I've got a big maul, the big part of my hand there, but my fingers are not big. But look at the grip I can, I can get on that. Look at that. I'll put my thumb back here and stab the crap out of you. I got a little, it's a full tang. You got to have that full tang construction. Another inch or two, somebody call it a buoy, but it's not. I digress. Is that where you go? Can we go here? Lord have mercy. Life in green, 32 seconds. The guy sitting there licking every other way, but the, the, go. Oh, wait. Oh. Hey, hey, you. Mm. And then look at me like it's my fault. Uh, uh, well, dumbass, I'm not the one that's not colorblind. I'm, I'm not colorblind. Hey, it's green. Go. Ooh. You ate three. It's what you do at a stoplight. It's just a PSA, and we'll get back to the knives. All right, coming to the stoplight, <clears throat> what you want to do, I've checked my mirrors. Y'all can't see that, but I did. I got on these sunglasses and my seatbelt. No. Um, what you do when you come to the stoplight? Now, when it turns green, if you're the first one in line, you look left. You look right, and you look back to the left. It takes about two seconds, three seconds, something like that. And three seconds save your life. And there goes a jackass going to run right up. Lane merges, so let's go 95 miles an hour. Oh, you got to get over. There, there, there he is. I promised Kirk I wouldn't throw any more knives, but I'm close to throwing this one. Okay, okay, come on, dude. Idiot. River stonework. Yeah, you ought to get drowned in a river. I'm just kidding. Just teasing. I mean, you know, whatever, but learn to drive. But y'all, when you pull up stuff like, do that. And, and then here's the next thing that's going to happen. Some asshole behind you, and I realize that's three or four cuss words, there won't be no more. He's going to blow the horn. You know, because he's running late, you know, woke up, the kids screaming, the wife getting on him. I was going to say bitching, but I told y'all I wouldn't do more cussing. Kids just going nuts. He hates his life. He's late for work. Boston got on him. So he's now he's got to go 112 in a 22 mile an hour zone with with kids everywhere. <laughs> right by old scan. What are we even talking about? Oh, the mini tab. Back to that. I digress. Rant's over. Now, now we're going to slam on brakes. Ah, oh. Now, it comes... This is SK85, full tank construction. That's a little inside joke there. Um, SK85's got a nice little lanyard loop for lashing. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna release. I'm gonna release this video first. 
not that y'all care, but I'm just saying, I'm gonna release it first. And then I did a uh, the Work Tough Mountain Bushman. Now, I'll release that next. And then over the next couple days, I wanna get some really good uh, time in on my d bat I'm, I'm just really fired up about that thing. Uh, not just the aesthetics and the look, but the feel. Um, it is a big knife and uh, it feels that way so but that's in the next couple videos back to the work work tough Taal. one thing i'll say to y'all is this Taal is a tribe uh, i believe in southern china or maybe in taiwan um this is a taiwanese company work tough taiwan company now if that turns you off to them well i, I can't help you you know I, I always start down the path and i stop because I don't want to hear it online. Um, what I will tell you is this. I am an American worker. I have worked for 33 years on the books. I've done uh, steel, but most of my work background was in steel working, powder coating. Um, I've been in utilities probably the second longest field. I've been in, in that for probably, um, shoot, seven, eight years now. But steel working, um, a lot of uh, coatings, whether it's powder coating or liquid. Uh, shoot, I ran a cleaning company for a few years. Um, done a little bit of everything. Done uh, fire safing. That fire caulk, which is the biggest scam on the face of the earth. I'm just, that outside of the green products, the green stuff is just, hey, let's go green look, moron. Everybody wants to go green till you clean with it. It's water with a little bit of vinegar in it. <laughs> shocker and you can't clean natural stone with vinegar now i know we've been all over the place my point to you is this i have worked in just about every field warehouse uh, i've worked in a bunch of industries uh, the drug business uh, you know all of those things did all that kind of stuff now my point is this some years ago i was watching tv and a guy in detroit was going on strike because making $47 an hour uh, to push a button just was not good enough. He couldn't make a living, blah, blah, blah. I literally threw the remote through the TV. That turned me off to a lot of things. Dwight D. Eisenhower crushed the steel industry by signing all the big pension stuff in the 50s, you know, for the steel workers. Now, do your history on it, because I am going to delve into this. I don't normally, I'm going to now. The American worker are good, hardworking, honest, good people. I'm one. I, I'm not saying I'm a good person. I'm just saying we are we are a tough workforce. We always have been, and we get the job done. Now, we've also priced ourselves out of a lot of things. Now, now, hear me out here. I don't agree with sending our manufacturing overseas. I don't. Never will never have however if I find a product overseas that I like I'm buying it okay I don't want to hear it most of the time you hear oh my god oh my American and it's usually from some jackass that ain't never that, that's, that, that's sitting on the couch somewhere that ain't ever done nothing in his life except bitch about not buying American I am an American worker my granddaddy was American worker. My dad's been a preacher, he's an American worker, which is one of the toughest jobs I've told y'all. It's 24 seven. We're all, I come from a family of American workers. My great grandfather was a dirt farmer. We, we come from the South. My family's been in the South. We land, I had some people land in Plymouth and then I had some, some people that, that Plymouth landed on them. You know what I'm saying? Now, my whole rant on this is this. I'll get somebody to comment, oh my God, if it ain't American. Yeah, yeah, because old, old, old Latron Smith over there, his family ain't gonna eat because you didn't buy a knife. Or somehow buying this knife uh, that comes from a Taiwan company that's resisting Chinese domination, by the way, let me just throw that out there. That, that you know, you, you act like you're supporting the communist government if you buy a knife. Grow up. If you don't like it, don't buy it. But I'm telling you, right damn now, 
I'm telling you, this work tough, it's worth the money. Oh, and by the way, this is sub a hundred dollars. Try doing that with old American workforce here, America, America, woo! I'll tell you what, Scab, I'd rather pay three hundred dollars for that. Yeah, I know you would. I, I know you would. I, and I'll be glad. I'll gladly. It ain't even my knife. I'll gladly say it is for three hundred dollars. My point is this, guys: don't miss out on a good knife because of that crap. You know, rest assured that old Wing Lee over there ain't going stupid America, you, you buddy night. No, no, dude. They trying to feed their kids like we are. And like I said, if it's from Taiwan, I'll buy it. I'm a, I, I, I'll buy all of them. You ain't got to buy, I'll buy it. If you ain't mad about it, I ain't mad about it. It's just, it, it's just the way I feel about it. I got a bunch of American knives. I love American knives. I do, man. I, I do. I, my, my son, my wife served in the military. My great, both grandfather served in the military. I had 15 to 20 relatives that fought in the Confederacy. I had several more that fought in the Union. I had people in just about every... Yeah, the Spanish-American War had a relative there. Uh, World War One, World War Two, a bunch of World War Two, Vietnam. Lost a cousin in Korea. Kid K.I.A. Rolling. God rest your soul, Rolling. I, I got some letters to break your heart from 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 him. I, I never knew him, obviously. Uh, my mom did. But my point to you is, the the beauty of America is not the government. We talk about oh, you, 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 shut up. Just stop. I, I, I'm mad, I think, because I, I made the mistake of going on Facebook this morning, read about three posts, and wanted to just throw the phone out the window. And it's both sides. Let me tell you something. This country is great. It's always been great. Ain't got nothing to do with Washington. Nothing. And it ain't got nothing to do with the politicians. It's the people. Every race, every color, Every creed, and I and, and time to time I'll see somebody from another country. We all just y'all are just arrogant. Yeah, yeah, sure are. Gonna be. Well, Scab, there's a civil war coming. Well, let it come. Let it come. But before you let it come, before we erase all our history, some of y'all may want to look back on the six hundred thousand that died during the American Civil War. No, I ain't for slavery. Don't be stupid. Don't be silly. But without the Confederacy breaking off and us in that in that in that uncivil hell of a war that ripped this nation in shreds, without that, we're not who we are today. You can't erase the past. You can't. Those who those who forget the past or doomed to repeat it. it you know the problem with, with, with stuff like that is we make them cliche and then we make it cliche like it's a joke and we don't listen to it take heed to that now I got way off topic that's what makes people mad I really don't care I, I mean I, I really don't ain't nothing you gonna do to me son unsubscribe Ooh. I'm just telling you these knives. There's gonna be. A, there's a group of people that won't buy this knife because it's made in Taiwan. And hey, God bless you, man. God bless you. I, you know, you say, Scab, you say you don't care, but you have to know what I care about is when you come on my comments and, and and make a big deal about something you don't know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? And don't don't. You know, Scab, I, I can't believe. Look here, I am an American worker. Just like that dumbass that's passing me on the 25. But I hope you get hit. Idiots, man. Idiots. I'm telling y'all, act drive like you got some see. That's another video. Look, the mini tail, four inch blade, five inch handle. Micarta, beautiful micarta handles. Um, SK85, which is reminiscent of SK5. These are the sharpest knives 
out of a box you'll buy hands down by far now we'll put this thing to the test let me show you one more look at it um, the mountain bushman had more of a uh, more of a uh, uh, I'd say a drop point or a spear point on it this one's got an up sweep to it that thing right there man look at that I'm excited to do some cutting with this um, listen I love y'all God bless y'all 22 veterans a day commit suicide remember now September 11th we're gonna start our, our auction on our raffle um, for that beautiful uh, pocket knife holder that Sean made me jam up job man thank you Sean to my Leos, y'all keep your head in the fight. God bless y'all. Uh, if Leos military personnel, listen, if it's a struggle, please reach out. Reach out to somebody you trust. The first step is saying, I need help, and that's the toughest. To my addicts, I'm right there with y'all. I'd say it every day, it's a daily fight. I, I've been there, I know what you're dealing with. I love y'all, God bless y'all. I'm scab, you're not, and we're gone.